Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Get him, get him. Yeah, you can't fuck with me. Hold on. I'm gonna beat all these motherfuckers. Yo, yo, what's cracking, yo? Hey, this right here. This right here is the move, I promise y'all. This is the move. Listen to me. Everybody with them F bodies, third gen F bodies, right? I realize it's it's really hard to figure out how to wire in the vehicle speed sensor from this is for LS swap back, back office also but to wire in the vehicle speed from the LSPCM to the dashboard of your third gen F body and uh this is a Berlinetta as you see right you know what I'm saying so what we're gonna do is she ain't working so listen, I was having a hard time trying to figure this out, but I figured it out because there's really a very limited amount of help on the internet, if you ask me, and on YouTube, because I've been looking. But what we're going to do is we're going to take, let me just jump into it. This is your speed buffer box right here. Sometimes they're over here for a Berlinetta. I know it's over here, hanging up in here. For my Trans Am, it's back here behind this panel. It's a yellow box. It's a speed buffer box. I know everybody keep hearing about, oh, the speed buffer box this and the speed buffer box that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help y'all out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get y'all right. So check it out. You got on the speed buffer box, you got two wires going in from outside under the hood. It's your yellow and your purple wire. That's the vehicle speed sensor wire that's going into the buffer box. That signal gets changed with this buffer box to some type of pulses which gets sent via this bright pink wire to the dashboard so basically what you want to do is you want to get your signal from that PCM to this wire here this bright pink wire it's going to send it to the dashboard and you'll get your speed signal it's that fucking easy so check it out what I done just so I mean maybe I don't know you might want a little pointer I'm going to give it to you. So what I did was, so I don't have to run all these wires back and forth. I went ahead and cut the purple wire from the, I went ahead and cut the purple wire from the uh, pin connector, from the plug that goes in the trans, from the vehicle speed sensor plug that goes to the transmission. I cut that purple wire uh, up there. Here, let me show you. So this purple wire here, where is it at? Mm. All right, we'll fuck it. Listen, we gonna jump into this like this. So this green wire is the wire coming from this PCM right here out to my VSS signal to the dash. So it's this green and white wire, and I'm sure you can find out what pin it is through LT1 swap. Here's the purple wire. This purple wire was a part of this pin connector here which plugs into the transmission this is your VSS wire now what I did was I went ahead because we won't be using this VSS wire so I went ahead and cut this wire here so I can take and tap it into this signal here and I'm going to wire butt that together now this purple wire pink wire whatever you want to call it it runs all the way in to the C100 connector right here and what you'll do is come inside the ride and you'll take that same purple wire and you'll cut it and you'll jump it into the pink wire that goes to the dashboard. Now I know these wires don't really all look like the colors I'm saying because they fade up there, but that's what it is. And um, that's your easy way to get your VSS to work. And this is really this this is the this is the same with may, maybe all of the GM rides from like 80, what, 83 to I guess like 93 or maybe even farther. You, you're looking for that speed buffer. You need to find the signal wire from the buffer to the dashboard. That's most important. And um, then you can just tap right into it however you find fit, however you want to do it. But that's how you want to do it. Um, and this is really something that's going to save you a lot of time with these LS swaps because... 
this shit used to drive me nuts. But uh, it's probably the same with the Caprice, the Chevy trucks that don't have cable driven um, speedos and all those fucking rides, really. So that's your little quick win-win with it.